<coughs> oh, Adrian, I'm really sorry. I smashed the smashed my van at the front of the camper. Only joking. Typical Swansea weather. I can see the road. But the good news is, I'm not hitting anything structural. Now, as I said, I've done one of these before. So I just compared with mine. If you're not done one, you should check and double check. But just to help you along, right? From there, to the edge of the propex was 83 millimeters, right? This isn't so important because, um, <coughs> you know, it's not, it's a straight line, like the chassis rails run the straight line. But what I've done here is my holes there, right, are 230. Remember the Chinese dentist? 230 from the bottom of that slope. You can move it that way um, about 20, 30 mil and the same that way. But obviously it needs to fit under your box and this isn't a standard westy rock and roll bed but it's very very similar so 230 chinese dentist and then you know, can't use that as a reference point because that could be anywhere on the bus right but from from there to the first hole is 130 roughly it's 130 from the edge of the wheel latch to there you need to double check because you may have had welded in wheel chairs and stuff like that but this one looks pretty good and I should clear that we don't use that but uh, obviously on an early westy and a cross dresser like this one it is used but um, Adrian's not using it right the pro -pecs. That's gonna sit like that. So that sits lovely. <coughs> what I need to do now is I need to clear this crap out of there. Then I need to put some anchor wax in there on this rusted surface. So it's uh, not rusted on this metal surface, so it doesn't rust. I've got these metal pipes. Right? One of them will go on each pipe <coughs> remember right, the one is tight, the one isn't yeah, that's the one that's not painted one is the inlet and the non-painted one is the exhaust the inlet has got to be in front of the exhaust because when you're driving the air doesn't want to be sucking in the exhaust air that's just come out so I'll poke out the floor in and when it's on a dry day I'll root them. <coughs> Where's the brackets? <coughs> There's the brackets. Right. Some Jubilee clips and some P clips. 
pre-clips I will be using underneath so I don't need them now these are for the fresh air hoses I don't need them at the moment so what I need to do at the moment is put these on Look, look at it, it is lashing down. It's great weather if you're a duck. Oh, what do you know? There's one on there. <coughs> what have we got here? We've got this lead. This here is your reset. If ever it doesn't work, take this lid off and look at that and see if it's popped out. If it's popped out, click it back in. These vents get blocked, then the thing overheats and that trips out. How do I know? I spent bloody ages and I fixed mine, and that's what it was all along. And this is the power lead. Other leads, I don't know what they're for, but they're not for anything we've got here. They're on there. Oh, you bitch. It's 
not the problem. It just means I gotta put it on, lying on my back on the floor. I had myself here. I'll have to sacrifice a brush for him, Adrian. <clears throat> but it's for a worthwhile cause. Better than wax oil, anchor wax. If it's good enough on ships, it's good enough for bay windows. <clears throat> this goes off to a hard like wax. It's not hard, it's sort of semi uh, solid. A bit like a lazy lob on like semi solid. Should've put some on the lid, shouldn't I? Stop the lid rusting. Good lid, huh? Right, I need to pick a grommet now for that. All there. While I got the anchor wax out. The wall is in grommet draw. These are marked up really. Congratulations, you are the one. Oh, bollocks it. The rain never hit anyone. That's the light. situation we've got a hole you can't use a hole so it just wobbles over makes a mess and it's dangerous so we use a cone <coughs> a stepped cone you can get ten edges open but this has got individual sizes on it 